180 degrees. Following the restructuring of the university in September 2020, Unimed now has six faculties offering more than 40 programs of study. Faculty of Electrical Engineering Technology Faculty of Electronic Engineering Technology Faculty of Mechanical Engineering Technology Faculty of Chemical Engineering Technology Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology Faculty of Applied and Human Sciences Unimap continuously carries out research that brings benefit to all. Nanotechnology research in Unimap looks into faster, easier, and more accurate detection of microbiological diseases. The HPV CC kit has high sensitivity that allows early detection of cervical cancer through saliva. A bus monitoring system developed by the UNIMAP Center of Excellence for Advanced Sensor Technology facilitates efficient monitoring of the movement of university buses for students. Under UNIMAP's social responsibility programs, an alternative energy source kit known as EPS Kit has been developed. Each year, UNIMAP produces alumni whose presence is felt the world over in many parts of the world. Being a graduate from UNIMAP, it really helps me in, in adapting to the working environment and it helps me speeding up my learning curve. And I think the best thing about UNIMAP is they don't just teach you, they prepare you. The soft skills, problem solving analysis, as well as a lot of hands-on practical that we practice in lab, it will help the graduates to be more confident when they graduated later on. UNIMAP researchers are globally recognized, evident through the acquisition of numerous international grants. UNIMAP is my first choice because the programs offered here are focused and they fulfill the expectation of the industry. Abroad from academic and research, which are the university core business, sport, culture and volunteerism are also given due to the attention. It's up to the student to choose which field he or she wants to immerse into. The success and achievements thus far have placed Unimap on the world stage.
It's an honor for me to be considered for the EDOG Prize in Education. Carl Edwin Wyman is an American physicist and educationist at Stanford University, USA. Wyman was born in Corvallis, Oregon on March 26, 1951. Wyman earned his Bachelor of Science in Physics in 1973 from MIT and his PhD in Physics from Stanford University in 1977. In 1995, while at the University of Colorado Boulder, he and Eric Connell produced the first true Bose-Einstein condensate or BEC and in 2001, they and Wolfgang Ketterle were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. After winning the Nobel Prize in 2001, Wyman became particularly involved with efforts at improving science education and has conducted educational research on science instruction. In 2002, Wyman founded FAT, a physics education technology interactive simulations, a project at the University of Colorado Boulder, a non-profit open educational resource project that creates and hosts explorable explanations. In 2020, Wyman was awarded the Yidan Prize in Education Research for his contribution in developing new techniques and tools in STEM education. It's an honor for me to be considered for the EDOG Prize in Education. Uh, asked what I would do with the prize money, uh, for me the answer is clear. I would use it to support the FET project which provides these online interactive simulations uh, for teaching science and mathematics. Uh, these simulations are available for free over the internet and they're used over a hundred million times a year by uh, students and teachers throughout the world are available in, in dozens of languages. And that use was before the recent pandemic, uh, which is now, of course, driven enormous demand for online educational resources. You know, most online education is really just recorded lectures. It's not much more than talking textbooks. With the interactive simulations, it really allows completely new capabilities, different from any other educational format. The students can see, visualize what's happening, and develop conceptual models of the science without the burden of the technical language and the mathematics. They can play and interact with it in, a, in an enjoyable and effective way that uh, is really quite powerful. I really uh, came to appreciate this with our early simulations, seeing how the same simulation could be 
engaging and educational for students over a tremendous range. It really takes advantage of the power of the technology in a way that no other educational medium has ever provided. And so that's why I think this is so powerful and would be such a great use of eDoc money.
And you have to be Uh, 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 uh,